friends, welcome into a new episode of the First Base Podcast with me, Taylor Mathis. I'm going to be having a special guest on today. Some of you were wanting to get to know her a little better after our last episode at the Diamondbacks game, so I thought it'd be fun for you guys to get to know somebody who's very near and dear to my heart and spends a lot of time with me on a day-to-day -day basis. Before we get into that, we're going to, of course, start with a little story time to begin our week. So I thought I would go through something that just happened this past weekend. I had a friend that was in town from Vegas. She also works in the television uh, sports industry as well. And we don't always get to see each other that much because she lives in Vegas and I'm here. We actually met last year at F1 and we just hit it off as friends. She was in town doing a story for work, so she decided to stay an extra day um, and come and stay here at my place with me. And we thought we would have like a night out on the town and show her some of the fun places to go within the Phoenix Scottsdale area. So we went to this new spot that opened up, I would say probably like, I don't know, six months ago, maybe in Phoenix. It's called the Global Ambassador. It's a hotel, but it has a really cool bar scene on the bottom floor and it's in Phoenix. So we headed to the Global Ambassador uh, with my friend and then my best friend from here and one of my other friends as well. So it was just four of us girls. We get to the Global Ambassador, we head up to the bar, we go to order a drink. And I look to my right and there's like a group of two older guys uh, right there. And they were just looking at me and I was like, oh boy, I knew that they were going to come up and talk to me. And they did. And they were just kind of just chatting, trying to get to know me, asking me my name what I do, stuff like that. They offered me their, one of their chairs, which was nice at the bar um, to sit at. So I'm sitting at the chair. We order our first drink and us girls are like sitting there chatting. The older guy keeps trying to talk to me, but thankfully my friends were like there. So I was kind of easy to divert and not really have to chat with him. So I'm talking to my friends and I do like a little slight turn, turn around a little bit. And I look over my left shoulder and there was another group of these two guys waiting to try to get a drink. And he looked at me, I looked at him, we made eye contact, and he was like, oh, and then he, he had a British accent. So he said, oh, if it's possible, um, could you help get us a drink? And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course, when the bartender comes back. And then he was like, I'm just kidding. That was kind of my intro to try to get to talk to you. I'm actually more excited that I just met you now than getting the drink, which was sweet, cute, whatever. He was British too, so the accent wasn't hurting. And... We, we start chatting. He's a nice guy. He seems uh, really cool. We have a lot in common because he also like works in sports as well. So we're chatting about that. Um, and then two seconds later, he's like, I'll be right back. I gotta, I'm going to go tell my friend that I'm standing up here by you. And I was like, okay. So he walks to go tell his friend. And as soon as he walks away, the older guy taps me and he's like, are you into that guy? And I look at him and I was like, first of all, I, I don't know. I just met him like two seconds ago. So I just looked down and I was like, I, I don't know. Like, I just met him. And then I'm also thinking in my head, why do you care? Like, who are you? So I was just like, uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't really know him well enough. We just started talking. And he's like, well, don't talk to him. You better not. He's a D-bag. And well, he said the actual word. I'm not going to say it just for the YouTube. I don't want to flag me or anything like that. So I was like, he's like, he's a D-bag. And I was like, uh, and I'm like thinking like, how do you even know him? Like, what? I was just like, this is so random and so weird. Why is this guy telling me this? So I just like turn around. I'm like, okay. I was like, did he do something? And he's like, it's a whole story. And I was just like, oh boy. Like, what did I just get myself into? And they're clearly not part of the same friend group either. So British London boy comes back and he sits down and we're talking. We're having, we're having a good chat. We're having good banter. And then he says, uh, then I say to him, okay, I got to tell you something. When he walked away, that guy behind me, this older guy, like said that you're a douche, douche said that you're a D-bag, said that you're a D-bag, said that you're a D-bag and I, I shouldn't talk to you. And then I asked him why. And he said, there's a whole story. And I was like, I don't get what's going on here. I was like, but he does like not want me to talk to you. I was like, but he did when he first came in, he was like trying to talk to me. So maybe I was like, is he pissed about that? I have no idea. I don't know. Well, then London boy is like, what? What did he say? And then my, one of my girlfriends was also like, yeah, he literally tapped me and was like, do not let your friends talk to the British guy. He's a D-bag. And I'm like, okay, why is this guy like the older guy so concerned? And now the British guy was starting to get pissed because he's like, 
he said this to me and then he also told my friend too and had my friend like tell me that he said this too and I'm like what is the deal the British is like well, we had a we had a little bit of a tussle that's what he said we had a tussle last weekend here at the global ambassador not a, not a full fight but he was like we kind of got into it there is a little bit of history there between them so then I'm like oh my god that new song Sabrina Carpenter heartbreak is one thing my ears are another another I beg you don't embarrass me mother mm -hmm. Don't embarrass me in that moment. I'm already like, I barely even know either of you. You just embarrass yourselves and you just embarrassed me with by proxy of being in your guys' proximity, literally. I was just like, they, the British guy and him start like going like, he's like, hey, why are you telling them that I'm a douchebag? And then the older guy was like, because you are. And then he's like, I'm not a douche. The other one that was going after my friend's married girl, my friend's like wife or blah, blah, blah last weekend. Then he's like, I didn't know that she was married. And they're like going back and forth. And I'm just standing there like, oh my God, I hope nobody thinks that I'm like friends with these two or that I'm like dating them. Cause I was like, this is just like, they're making a scene in the corner of the bar and the global investor is like a nice place too. So it's like, I don't like really want to be also, honestly, any boy is fighting unless there's like some really good reason you're embarrassing yourself. It's an immediate ick for me. I'm like, ew, any boy that's getting into like a fight like that, I'm like, <laughs> bye, I'm going to walk away. So as this is happening, I'm like, literally, I'm going to walk away. So that's exactly what I did. Went to the bathroom and uh, came back over and then they were kind of like out of it by then. And the older guy had left and it was just London boy left. But yeah, that's my story from the weekend. Um, I guess it does go a little more in depth, but yeah, that's all. That's all we'll, we'll, we'll leave it for now. So that was one of my crazy stories that happened for the week. And I wanted to also touch on a fun little topic that I thought we could go over at the start of the podcast before bringing in my guest. And I guess I'm going to call it fan art. But this first piece is honestly so funny and cute. I love it. Whoever made this one for me and sent it to me. Uh, I started doing a segment on my social media is called the whiteboard wins from uh, whiteboard wins, basically giving a betting pick for the day and really explaining it through analytics, through my explanation of numbers and different things like that, why I'm taking a certain play on a whiteboard. And it's been going really good so far. Y'all are loving it. If you pay attention to my betting content, everybody's been really into it. But somebody made this in accordance to the the whiteboard wins that I've been doing. And this piece is so cute. This piece of fan art is adorable. Whoever did this, the little baseballs, the graduation cap, like I'm a teacher. Absolutely love it. This made me laugh. And I actually posted it to my Twitter too, because I just thought it was so cute and funny. And I loved it. Love that you guys are enjoying Teacher Tay. And I appreciate that cute little piece that one of you guys made for me. Anytime you guys send me in things like this, I just gotta say, I love them. Like, I think stuff like this is just so cute and adorable. So I'm all, I'm all about it. The next piece also I thought was really cute. This next piece, I guess I would say, I don't know if I'd call it quote unquote fan art, but kind of, um, this woman always like gives me such positive feedback on all of my content, whatever I do. And she watches the podcast regularly, but I loved, she sent this adorable photo of her watching uh, the Diamondbacks game episode on her TV. And then she wrote uh, like the nicest little blurb about me and just like how she really enjoys first base because she feels like she's getting to know me on a deeper level and on a very laid back level and that she loves that I'm authentic and just tells you guys stories and that I'm myself. And that made my entire day when I saw that. It was just so cute that she posted that. She also has a little piece of a thing, a little quote that I said, and she made it into like wall art. I'll see if I can find it. Um, of one of my like baseball sayings that I made and like made it into wall art and quoted me and it like hangs in her bathroom. It's so cute. So I have to have a shout out to Brenna for that because uh, she's adorable and sends me the cutest things that she does. Now this one, this one will go into one of the bad ones. And being honest, I'm going to give this person an A plus because honestly, I can't even unsee. I can't even unsee this myself now that I see it. This little thing right here, this little comparison, took a little screenshot of me on a video and then put it up next to this wonderful, beautiful, majestic horse right here and is comparing me 
and my mouth and the way that I talk to a horse. And now I really like, guys, it, it doesn't even make me mad. I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. Do I? Do I have a horse-like mouth? <laughs> do I? I don't know. Maybe I do. I feel like I kind of do when I look at that. And I'm like, props to you for taking the time to even do that. Props to you for the comparison photo of me next to the horse and doing that because it's really, really cute. Every time I look at Taylor, I'm thinking, Mr. ED. I didn't put that. Erectile dysfunction. How rude. I just can't help it. She tries sexy but flops every time with a picture of me next to the horse. Isn't oh, it? what a dick. That's oh, so fun. I know. <laughs> I'm not laughing because I agree. No, I'm not laughing. It's fine. Are you kidding me? Kidding me? I get so many Miss, messages. Mr. ED. Apparently, I give guys ED, erectile dysfunction. Ooh, baby. What I was saying is username was... No, she said that. Every time I look at her, she gives me Mr. ED, meaning I give him erectile dysfunction. All right. And my guest for today's episode is Miss Sophia. Woo! <laughs> okay, so a lot of you guys were like wanting to get to know Sophie a little bit after this last episode. Everybody was like, oh, how do you know Sophie? Like, what's your guys' relationship? How how do you guys become friends? Like, what's the ins and outs? So we thought it'd be fun to have a little episode because she works extremely closely with me on the podcast and with pretty much everything I do to have Sophie on, chat a little bit. You guys can get to know her and get to know uh, I guess our friendship a little bit. Us. A little bit too. So, Sophie, welcome into the first space podcast. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you ready? Yes, I am nervous. She's this nervous. nervous. There's three cameras in here. So, Sophie's very outgoing though. So I feel like not on camera. <laughs> not on camera, but she's usually very outgoing. Um, I feel like we should start by giving like the people a little bit. I want to give what they want to know. See, I want to give the people a little background on Sophie and ask her some questions. So first, I just want to start out asking Sophie a couple questions so you guys can kind of get to know her a little bit better as a person. So I'm like, Sophie, give us a little lowdown, like where you're from, what you do, what are some things that you're passionate about? What am I passionate about? Yeah. Ooh, hard hitting questions. I'm from Tucson, Arizona originally, small town, keep Tucson dirty, keep Tucson quack, bleep me out, <laughs> keep Tucson quack, um, I work at an art gallery, I'm a sales consultant, I also do some registrar position stuff, and then I work for Taylor, obviously, I'm her assistant, I'm with her all the time, um, and then I'm about to start school actually, so I will be... Extra occupied, if not enough already. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sophie's very, like she said, works in an art gallery, so very creative as well. And that was kind of part of the reason why I thought she would do a good job at being able to help me with some of the stuff that I do. Because uh, she's creative, and also we already got along on a friend level, so it was very easy. To I happen to like her. Transition. Let's, I'll explain where we were at, and then I'm going to give my first well, impression of Sophie, and I want her to give my, we've actually not really talked about this that much, so I'm curious to see what her, we're going to be totally honest with each other. <laughs> First impressions of each other. Okay, so this is what happened. Mutual friend Maria. Maria was asked us to both go for a night out at Boondocks, which is like one of the outdoor bars within the Old Town area here in Scottsdale. It's a good spot to like, it's not clubby. It's not divey though. I really don't know how to explain it. There's it's a lot of like people who go in there. In the middle. It's yeah, really it's a little, yeah, I don't know. It's not really a spot that like we're super wild about going to that much anymore, but every now and then it can be fun. So we were, Maria asked everybody to go to Boondocks. Um, I got there, Maria was already there, and Sophie was there. And Sophie oh, was there with two guys that were her friends from Tucson that were in town that weekend. So, oh my God, I forgot yeah, about that. yeah. <laughs> so I met Sophie and those two guys, and we all kind of were just sitting really chatting for a little bit, dancing. I mean, it was like we were at a bar, so we were dancing chatting uh getting i guess kind of getting to know each other all a little bit whatever taylor was in an orange dress she looked orange like a red. salsa dancer i do remember that beautiful that's right <laughs> i was in that long sleeve dress I your know hair exactly was all which, big it which was one. like <laughs> i was in a little fancy for boondocks very fancy very fancy for boondocks. For boondocks. yeah but i wanted to wear this dress out You're yeah good. it was great it was it was see of me so uh, so that's how we had met originally 
Then I would say we saw each other in a lot of like group-ish settings most of the time. Mm -hmm. For the most part, because Sophie started hanging out kind of with our group of friends more. Heavily. She was new to the area. I would love my way in. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like new to the area, so she was hanging out with our group of friends a lot, which we all like loved it though too. So we were like, we or I would say our the group of girls out here that we are all friends with, no matter how close we are with certain right. people in the group or not, everybody's very friendly mm -hmm. and like we it's not fun. like people are, are, are the group of girls are not like oh my god we're not like, this person cannot hang like that not like that at all mm -hmm. like I feel like everybody's really open to like uh, new people come hang out whatever Very. um which is nice because some girls can be catty but we definitely don't have like a catty group like that but that's kind of how we started then I think the first time that we hung out one-on-one -on -one, was terrible memory. I have a terrible memory of us hanging out one on one. The first time, I don't remember. It was like suddenly you were with me all the time. It was so magical. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember the first time we. I remember the first time we met at Boondocks and you were wearing your. Yeah, I remember all dress. that, but I mean, in the first time we hung out one on one. No, you know what? I remember. Look, I remember. So Sophie and I start hanging out. You okay, worry. so first impressions. First yeah. impressions. Okay. Let's Do you want to go really first or do you want me to go first? I'll go. I don't know. I'll go first. I will say, oh, Sophie here. and I are both pretty honest people, so I feel like we're going to be honest about this. You better just say the <laughs> truth, too, even if it's I'll gonna... say the truth. Okay. All right, go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, go. okay, I'll go first. Okay, well, so first I, I, I cannot mention enough this orange and red dress, okay? I showed up thinking that I looked like a goddamn hobo. Oh, we'll bleep that. We'll bleep that. I, I looked like a gosh darn hobo, and I, the clean version. I got the clean version, yes, non explicit, and I can't even remember what I was wearing because I was so distracted by what you were wearing. I was, I you were wearing a tank top, jeans, and DC. See, jeans. okay, so I'm not yeah, from here. Scottsdale is a different, a different scene for sure. Like the majority of people dress like in in that yes, sexy dress but, for sure. But Sophie, I dressed to the nines when I was in high school. In sandwich, Illinois. <laughs> Not I. I used to wear my I hair. Did. Like that's just I used to wear me. my hair in like a like, samurai like this. I thought it was the coolest thing. Coolest kid on the block here. Like I, this. <laughs> I was like, but, I always dressed up. That's just like very my personality. I, but, I could be at a dive bar and I would wear a dress. It is true. Yeah. It is true. It is true. It is and I, and that's, that was my first impression, honestly, was I, I got that right away with um, you. I was like, oh, she for sure does this. And you look damn good, too. I was like... This is great. I thought you were very loud. I did. She's very, she's very I loud. I am very loud. She's so loud. I've got a loud I, And I thought I was loud. Yeah. So, but I thought you were very loud. And I thought you were way cooler than me. For sure. For sure oh, I thought you were way cooler than me. Oh, yeah. I was very, I was definitely intimidated. Damn. Definitely intimidated as See, the first impression. How come? Why? I don't know. A lot of people do say that about you. And I don't yeah. know why. It's just, it's just an aura, I guess. I don't right? know. Because I feel like I was pretty... Bubbly so though. welcoming. It's I was gonna say, welcoming. I'm like, that's I'm definitely not standoffish. Not what I mean by intimidating. I just mean like, like I was like, oh, I'm like I remember we were dancing. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, we were very like, I, I'm very like not like I was not like ooh, ooh, stuffy, stuffy. I no, no, definitely not, not. stuffy. Yeah. Definitely not stuffy. But um, I was like, I, we had another, we had another friend at the time who we're not friends with anymore. Who was, yeah. who was, oh, yeah. who was oh, very, yeah. like, heavily, that. I didn't, and heavily, like, into the group, and I actually was closer with her before I got really close to yes. her. Yes, I was very, extreme. we all were very I close to her, but anyways, enough about that, well. but, but yeah. there was a, there was a lot going on in, like, all of us when we went out. But, but Taylor stood out from like the rest of the group for sure. Mm -hmm. I did not, and I also did not think that we would be as close as we are now. That was not a first impression thing that I got. No, I, didn't think I agree you, with you yeah, on that. I didn't think I you would like me as much as you do now. I, I agree with you <laughs> on that too. I think, okay, wait, so that was it. That wasn't bad. I was thinking you were- No, I didn't, I didn't catch any weird sideways okay. vibe or anything like that. Okay, well, good. I mean, I no. didn't think I gave any, so No, you gave, me, you gave me fantastic. You gave me, like, Dancing with the Stars. It's, oh. like, what I remember. Ooh. It was very, like- Da, da, da. A little flamenco. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. Oh, we should sign God. you up for that. <laughs> oh. I, okay, that's good. I would say this Give was, me yours. Give me this, yours. Okay, mine- I'm Okay, scared. I know. I know what mine was. I remember, so to me, I thought you were, like how you were like, oh, very fantastic. I got very unique. 
was like my off the bat because I feel like like you were saying Scottsdale's very certainly like, not me. <laughs> it's not like Scottsdale's very like a lot. I of, like it here. Don't get me like, wrong. I, I just think, granted, I am not like this, but no, there is a lot of like. You didn't scream Scottsdale when I met you. No, I don't. I don't think I do either. Um, but I feel like Scottsdale has that vibe of like normally could be a lot of, I'm not saying me. I hope if anybody ever sees me, you can talk to me. I promise I'm talkative, but like, I feel like sometimes it gives up like snobby blonde girl, Very, like well, plastic not, surgery not, vibes. So and, being and I'm from like, Tucson, and I'm definitely, I'm not like that, but being from Tucson, they call it snobsdale. Oh yeah. Or like in, or nor people call it like nor if you're from Norsco, still Norsco was like Cher's old roommate. Norsco, she used to say she was from Norsco. Let's Norsco. Well, she was very wealthy and yeah. She was Norsco. Yeah, she was Norsco. Yeah. So yes, there is kind of a connotation <laughs> to being from Scottsdale with all of that. But my initial impression was unique because I definitely was like Sophie doesn't still doesn't fit the vibe of like I guess what I would see on a traditional day of walking into the bar at boondocks out here because she had like her short boondocks pixie, is not me no <laughs> short like little pixie haircut her hair was a different color at the time though it's always a different color it yeah changes every month um I think it was brown when I met you I believe that makes sense yeah brown lots of tattoos mm -hmm. um very much or lots of like so definitely different unique was the first thing I got uh also though really bubbly I felt like because you were also she was really welcoming right off the bat I remember you introduced me right away to your two guy friends which even though my totally vibe forgot they were there looking at them gave homeless creepy but like they were super nice guys so they were never, so, so nice if you don't want to see that don't go to Tucson. But really polite guys, really talkative too. Mm -hmm. Like they were very like approachable, easy to hang out with. And the one did ask me on a date. I totally forgot about him. Shocking, I'm shocked. I'm like, but yeah, but I don't remember which one it was. It was he was the one that was standing next to me. He was talking to me while I was sitting on the spool, stool. Wow. Spool. About about sports for like a long time, and we were chatting. Mm -hmm. Brown hair. They both had brown. They hair. both had brown. Yeah. Hair. They both had mustaches. Yeah, they, they did. both wore hats. Yeah, that was hard to exactly. Nothing. No, what I do. Like that. Uh, so yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So um, <laughs> that was basically. So that was my initial impression, though. Bubbly, unique, and then the only thing, like, I'm trying to think. I felt like it was all pretty. Okay, I will say, which I was wrong. This was one thing I got off the bat thinking, and then now, like, actually getting to know Sophie. No. I thought she was going to be, like, wild. Like, oh, no. I thought I was going to meet Sophie, and, like, that's part of the reason why I honestly think we weren't as close off the bat is because I thought she was going to be, like, way too wild of a person for me. Like, I thought she was going to be, like, somebody who was, like, ooh, like, I go out every single night, like, I rage, like, does whatever, and I, like, thought that, and then as I got to know her, I'm like, oh, she's not like no. that, at, like, I really, like sleepy time. yeah, at all, and, like, she's much chiller than I thought, and I think then as I started to get to know her personality, then I was like, oh, we can definitely, well, because Sophie and I hang out a lot, not on, like, a going out basis, most of the time, no, we just kind of kick it, yeah, we, we go to the park, out, we, our we favorite park place to go, other than school, Tuesday. yeah, we go yeah. to the park, we go to the, yeah, we go to the park a lot, do walks, but I mean, we, thrift a lot together yes of course we still have our nights out and go oh, out with course. her and all of, of that but like she's not like what i expected like i thought sophie would be like out ah, till three a.m yeah. like doing crazy things my college days and also wait days sophie's a lot younger than me too Ooh, let's so, guess yeah i'm like she put would in tell. the jeopardy music do, 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 do. what remember when i said about copy right Oh shit. Guess how old Sophie is. Yes, that's gonna be our little game. Are we gonna give any hints or anything like that? We'll see what people guess. My in the whole comments. the whole everything about me is a hint. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's guess. You guys take a guess. We'll see if you guys can figure out how old Sophie is. Um and then should we say at the end of the episode? No, let's wait and see, because then we could, we'll answer it. We can play with it. We'll play with it. Yeah. Okay. We met in the group settings. We started hanging out a lot out in group settings. But I would say at first, we were 
like cordial friends mm -hmm. you could say like we weren't like friend super, adjacent yeah acquaintance yeah like getting i mean we were all we were getting to know each other we didn't know each we other that well yeah we got we got along yeah. for sure and i was like we definitely got along then i started to realize that sophie liked to thrift and that was like something that I was like, oh, we start, I felt like a little bit of like, ooh, a bond mm -hmm. um, with the fact that we both like to thrift. And she was like very into like thrifting for clothes and stuff like that too. So I was like, oh, this is fine. House decor, she likes a lot of the same stuff that my best friend and I share do. So I was like, oh, we have that connection. I actually think that was one of the first times we hung out alone mm -hmm. was thrifting. thrifting. Yeah. Do you really like her style? I think so. Turnstile is amazing. Yeah, Shout out turnstile. Great. But actually, don't go there because then you'll take all the nice things. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> we might gatekeep that one. We we thrifted, but then we also what started to make us closer though was the fact that we went we started working out together. Skull. Obviously, definitely school. Yeah, I was like uh, Sophie, but we also had the commonality though of her and I both dating long-term people and that was definitely something we were like we were both dating it was almost exactly the same relationship yeah we were dating <laughs> we were in kind of a similar i don't want to say similar but there was some similarities, a similarities. of a dating like situation we that matched, we're in with that. and it was like relationships so we had a lot to talk about in terms of like our our guys that we were dating and we double dated and we did yeah like we did all the stuff. Th those things so like we were a little intertwined in each other's relationships too for sure so that was also like a bonding point for us but really the sculpt was the like sculpt is it yeah Sophie it. really wanted to start getting into like she was like I want to start doing something active and Ta working Taylor out Taylor took me to to <laughs> this ridiculous this yes, hot you tell. this hot yoga with weights but she didn't tell me it was hot and I used to instruct yoga I don't anymore and that was the best shape I was ever in and so I've been trying to get back into it. I won't work out unless there's a class. I won't get done. I can't take myself to the gym for an hour. I just can't. There's not enough for me to do unless someone's telling me. I feel that. Yeah. I mean, I did love used to going to the gym, but I go through spurts. So I went like, through spurts. Right. Yeah. Right. But, but Taylor was like, you have to come to this class with me. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And I brought around my body pass. I've yeah. never sweat that much. I've never sweat that much. And I was like, I absolutely have to do this again. And then Taylor and I started having coffee every time yes. after we... We well, worked out. Sophie gets matcha with four pumps. Um, I don't drink coffee. Yeah, she yeah. needs matcha with four pumps. Venti of the honey ice blend. matcha latte with four pumps of the honey blood syrup. Yeah, and I, I, I go in between. If I'm feeling she like I need some sugar, sometimes or... I'll do a caramel macchiato. But it, on my norm, I just do that's rare a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Yes, I go really basic, um, and I just do a cold brew. Mm -hmm. So, but. I only have been drinking coffee for like two years. Yeah, you're I've never been a, coffee. I yeah, like I've never been coffee. a big coffee drinker, and I'm not somebody like if we don't go get coffee in the mornings, I don't need to go. Like I don't right. need it every no, morning no, no, no. to function. No, it's like, it's purely I'm for not, fun. It, it really is. It, it, <laughs> it's for it's, it's for, for like our mo we, it's like our catch up time though. We catch up on light. Whatever she at needs to help me At seven in the morning, well, Taylor our, and I always catch our workout <laughs> class starts at six. six. So we're up at 5.30. 5.30. Maybe. And then we text each other. <laughs> we honestly, if you read our thread of text of us in the mornings, we could make a compilation and have it put up on the screen right Of whether here. or not we actually went and yeah. when we were waking up. We, and we like, usually go though. We, we do. Can go. We do usually we do. go. But there are some times where like the night before we're like, okay. We're <laughs> totally going to go. <laughs> we're going to go. We're totally in. We're going to get, totally get up. Happen. And then in the morning, one of us wakes up and we're like, oh, uh, I'm so tired. I can't believe I'm, I'm not going to lie. Right Most of the time, it's usually me. Like, I feel like if you're up. Yeah, but I'm on your team. <laughs> yeah, you're, she is on my team. Like, if I, but I feel like it is usually me. I feel like I'm the one that initiates the ugh, I'm tired. Right, right. And then, I, and then and Sophie then I will be up. like, I'm congruent with that. I'm statement. just a follower. Like, I'm she's just a like, follower. oh, we can sleep. <laughs> I'm good with that. There's like very few times that Sophie's usually the one that's like, I feel like if you start to get up, you're like, okay, I'm up. I'm, I'm up. up. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm kind of like the type, like, I could still get up and then I'll just go right, right on back, back to bed. bed. Yeah. I'm like, I'll just go right Taylor on back loves to sleep. To, to sleep. She loves but, a nap. But I'm also, though, a really big night owl. So heavily. Heavily. You're such like, a night owl. Heavily. She, I'm not even, I've never yeah. been that much of a night owl. I majorly am, so I usually stay up till like, 
I would love to say that way I too don't late. usually stay way up till, too but late. I, I mean, realistically, if I could, I would probably stay up till like 2.30 every morning and then like my day would start later. I just function better at night. I feel like I can get a lot of work done at night. Like, I don't know. I'm very much like a night gal, but that's why it's hard for me sometimes because I'll try really hard to go to bed earlier and then I don't. And then I'm like, oh my God, it's way too early. Like I can't, like I'm exhausted. Anyway, sculpt. Sculpt. Sculpt so is what I wanna, I wanna starting to build about, our I want to talk about the nicknames that we have. We, so that's pretty much <laughs> how our, our, we got closer was because of sculpt. We started doing coffee and then we got really like super close because we were hanging out every single day, talking a lot more in sculpt in its own unique way we say it could be like its own it's a cult it, it's a it's a little culty it could be like its own reality show like it we could have really a show should be core just, power. just about sculpt like literally just about sculpt like how should we like let's just kind of give <laughs> we're gonna explain to you guys like she's who been the a characters long, she's are. been a long time follower i only recently i came yeah in, i brought so. her in i brought her into the cult of right. core power of i did i did initiate her <laughs> I've been doing core power for a um, a year and two months. I actually just I'm left. almost at my hundredth. Yeah, so I've been doing it a little bit longer than Soph. She's been doing it with me since November. November. Yeah, November. So how long? How many months is that? It's June. Eight. Eight months. Eight months. Eight almost months. Year. Yeah, you're getting yeah. Getting up there. Yeah, you are. It's almost July. So really, almost nine months. Yeah, we've been going for a while. So we've been going for a while together and as time has gone on, we're like part of the 6 a.m. crew, we would we're say. Like part we're, of the 6 a.m. crew. I would say like we know people in the class and people know us. us. Definitely. Like we're, we're known by first name when we walk yeah, in. Like, yes, we don't have like, to say who we are when we ch We check chat in. with the coaches. Like, like, oh. They might actually even see this. Like we follow some of them. I hope they do. We, we I hope they all. do too, because like, we like all of them. But we yeah. like we have names for all of them. We do, we have names, names for you. For all of our friends. We do. Um so they we love mm -hmm. chatting about like what we thought of the class and stuff like that. So some of them follow us, we follow them. Like we love our our core power crew i guess you could say especially the 6 a.m.ers especially the, especially we're not as cool with like there's definitely a 5 30 crew too that are like yeah. the, the regs the regulars that are there we like don't really know them as well definitely no, like definitely not. not because it's hard to go after work we go it's earlier really, because yeah. then we feel like it just kind of starts the day and we don't right. have as much to like go off of makes really. you more productive yeah in the morning. It and you out. sophie's been pushing me because that was something i wouldn't have done unless i started going with you you've been honestly. pushing me well, we pushed, we well, push that's each other. good. We push each other because I would not have been going early. I would have stuck to always going. I used to go to North Scottsdale a lot. The North Scottsdale location, I would go at night. She came to the Old Town. And then, for me. yeah, I started going to the Old Town one now Such because, a sweet but thing. I do though like the Old Town one better just because the people in the classes are way more dedicated. That And not that the people it's in North Scottsdale aren't. In there. But like, I just feel like there are people that are more closer to our age. Right. Really. At the Old Town location, it feel like it pushes me because I see other people like that are around my age range doing it and like how in shape they are and what it makes me want to like work harder. Right. As for the North Scottsdale location, I felt like was a little more chill, a little more like I didn't feel that push. So I do you have like said going that. to the Old you Town location that. more because I feel I, like I get, I've only and we're more close with the crew now at the Old Town location too. So I just like going. I've only been to that one and then the one that's in San Diego. Yeah, she did the San I went Diego to the, one when she was the on the trip. The one that's next to Mission Beach, wherever that one is. It was fun. Yeah, you can go all, to different. all of them all over the country. Very different. But we definitely have our crew. So let's just start out with like our our crew, like who our normals are, <laughs> who our regulars are. Wait, are we talking We're, instructors or like attendees, like students? And let's, start, let's talk about our instructors. Oh, there's one in particular we love. Our Tuesday, Tuesday morning, morning girl. Morning. Yes. Our whole call, our we Tuesday love, morning girl. We call girl. her Bubbly. Bubbly. She's, she's the bubbly. She is so fun. She's like she starts nervous. your day out so good. You go in good. on Tuesday. She themes her music, which is so good. So good. And she like, curates her playlist. So good. So good. She's also just like, you go in and she just puts you in like a My good, she just puts you in like a good mood. She's always in a good mood. She's like always 
happy. Always in a good mood. Always in a good mood, and we love to sit right at the front. I strive for her. her. Oh, so right next to her. She's just like always in a good mood. She'll chat about you with whatever, too, and she loves to kind of like get the tea about us, too. Like if we bring in a buddy on the buddy pass. She's like, it's all rage. She's like, she'll who's remember the it a body? week later. Yeah, she'll be like, who was the buddy? Like, she, like, I love that she wants to know, like, the details. And she's just so cute, too. I actually remember before I started taking her classes in Old Town, I used to tell Sophie when I would go to North Scottsdale, she occasionally would teach at North Scottsdale, but also at the time, it was, I knew it was, like, I didn't know her. But I knew who she was because she would be in classes with me and her, and at the time, her boyfriend would always come in together and I would always tell Sophie, like, who is now her fiance, who's congratulations. Yes, congrats. <laughs> but like, I would always tell her that they were so cute and they would do class together They're all the time. Cute. And I just like, she's just adorable. She's definitely like one of our favorites, puts us in a good mood. It's mm. always fun. Mm. Then we have, who's next? Wednesdays. Wednesdays is speeches. So <laughs> Wednesdays is our man that gives a speech that gives a good motivational speech in the talker. Mornings. She's a he's a motivational talk talk guy for sure. Um, he's our happy hump day. <laughs> like he comes in every day. He's I would say his classes like our Tuesdays that we were talking about bubbly. They're like very the kitties <laughs> very cardio. Like, she, uh, she has a lot of cardio. Heavy cardio, upbeat, lots of, like, movement. Yeah, movement. Our Wednesdays are more... Slow. A motivational. Little, yeah, very... Trust in yourself. Yeah, a little more motivational, <laughs> a little slower. A little more vinyasa. Yeah. Uh, that is a really good point. I can't point believe I just said vinyasa. No, a little more... Vin it is, though, a little <laughs> more vinyasa, because when I just went on Wednesday this week, I was thinking about, though, I do love that he kind of... I he do too. Well, and I think he that, flows a lot in a good pace, and I'm always like, "Oh, it gets my, it gets my." More yeah, recently. as time has gone on, the more I do his classes, he the does more cater I like to that. like targeted. He does a good job of muscles. heart rate, though. That's he what does. I was like. Yeah, that's what I noticed about the when I flowed True. this week. How you were saying very vinyasa. I looked at my watch. Also, though, it is getting really hot in Arizona too. So hot. It's like 111. <sighs> and it's like also, and it, this is heated too, mind you. So you're. Sweating they in put the heat. Humidity You're heating on. in the heat, like it so. Gets, and there's like 40 people in. It the gets room. really hot, um, and like I appreciate though that he's doing a lot yeah. of flowing through the hot times because I feel like my heart rate's still getting way up there, right? Without having to be as cardioed, bunnied, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I feel like I can flow right now, and I'll still like burn a lot of calories right. and stuff because of how hot it is. Right. Anyway. That's our Wednesdays. We have so much to talk about. And we are only on Thursdays. 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 Well, well, Thursdays. We've recently gone to a new instructor who I don't think that we've come up with a name. No. For. Yeah. So Thursdays kind of in right now, and then Fridays is one of our faves too. Fridays are always good. <laughs> Screaming is what I used to call him. We used Scary. To, we used it at first because he yells. He was intimidating, honestly, at first. We really got the vibe that he didn't like us very much, to be honest. He's be Taylor's biggest fan. And I, I like, but I'm like, wait, don't say that on there. He, fo he, fo he follows me. So we I'm love like, you. But I'm like, he follows me. Okay. Cut but, that out, but. Uh, and I'm like, I do love him though. Like we, so at we first though, Friday. Friday, our, our <laughs> kind of drill sergeant, really. Like he was a, he's kind of a little like. Drill sergeant -y, but in like totally the best way because we love his classes. This we do. is your day. Like we love Today his classes. This is your day. Yeah. And, Watch he, this next and he's hour. like a loud sculpt teacher. Very loud. Like he's loud. Volume like, is all the like, way up. Like he's not like, and we're going to Does he wear the headset? No. No, he doesn't. He's that loud? Yeah. He, uh, no, he never. I don't think so. He doesn't. He's good though. And he has a big turnout. Like his classes he are show up, up for his classes. Yeah. And reason so, he's a good teacher. Like, he's a, his classes are, you're going to get a good workout. True. Like, you know you're going to that class, you're getting a good workout. But we didn't think he liked us at first. Because no. what was that instance that we had when we got there late? That one time he was like, Oh, kind of, he seemed really upset. Yeah, he seemed like really bothered. I would me. never be late on purpose. We were, what was that? I can't even remember. What he was just that? Wasn't that when, like, we, and it was him and... Hot. Hot, Liz. hot. Yeah. Hot Liz. It was him and hot. Liz. It was him and hot. 
It was him and Hot. We'll say that. Him, him and, and hot. hot. Friday and Hot were there together. Hot, and Hot's kind of in charge in a way that, like, yeah. We'll just say Hot. She, she, is in she was mad at me. And like, yeah, <laughs> I was very. This is when I was new. I feel yeah, like it was. They didn't know me yet. And they like kind Did of not were like, trust me. We didn't think that Friday liked us though. At first, we were kind of like, oh crap, because I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely like the classes are at six a.m. I'm rolling in at five fifty-seven. Yeah, we. I am not good about being there yeah. like early and like I think that Friday got like a little perturbed with us with that at first but Fridays then like Friday for. Friday started to like really get to know us and now like the Friday and I are buds like we talk Friday's tight, yeah. yeah like Friday and I are awesome like he loves sports so I just like love that Friday and loves we, Taylor we chat sports all the time and he's great and we love his classes he's so fantastic we have a lot of characters we'll leave that as chapter one okay Guess how old I am. 